Hey there, we're going to read the story Bob and Otto by Robert O. Brule. Bob and Otto. Once there were two very good friends, Bob and Otto. It was spring and everything was lively and exciting. These two very good friends spent each day digging in the ground, playing in the grass, and eating the leaves that fell from the old tree. But one day, Bob looked up. I need to climb this tree, he said. I want to see how the world looks from up there. Up there, said Otto, but it's so nice down here. When it's hot and dry, you can dig deep into the ground where it's cool and damp. And when it rains, you can come back up. Life is good just where we are. Why would you want to go up there? Because it's important, said Bob, and up the tree he went. It's important down here too, said Otto, and down into the ground he went. So the caterpillar is going up the tree and the worm is going down into the ground. Bob climbed and he climbed and he climbed and he climbed until he was very high in the tree. Otto dug and he dug and he dug and he dug until he was very deep under the tree. These fresh green leaves are very tasty up here, thought Bob. So he ate and he ate and he ate until he felt quite sleepy. These old rotted leaves are very tasty down here, said Otto. But still he dug and he dug and he dug until he felt quite sleepy. So the caterpillar, Bob, he's eating the fresh green leaves from the tree. And then Otto, the worm, is eating the dead rotted leaves, the old rotted leaves that are down under the ground. So Bob slept and he slept and he slept and he slept for many days and many nights. Do you notice what he's changing into? He has a chrysalis around his body. But Otto still dug, and he dug, and he dug, and he dug, and dug some more. So while the caterpillar's sleeping in his chrysalis, Otto keeps digging in the dirt. When Bob woke up, he was so full of joy, he felt like flying. So he flew over, under, and around every branch of the tree. Otto turned into a butterfly. Or, I'm sorry, Bob. Bob turned into a butterfly. Otto loved digging so much, he dug over, under, and around every root of the tree. Soon, Bob realized how much he missed his old friend and all of the fun they used to have together. Soon, Otto realized how much he missed his old friend and all of the fun they used to have together. So down went Bob to find Otto. So up went Otto to find Bob. Hello, Bob. Hello, Otto. I like your wings. Thanks. So you can fly? Sure can. Otto, why are you sad? Because, said Otto, if I had climbed up the old tree with you when you asked me to, then maybe would I, I would have grown big, beautiful wings like yours, and maybe I could fly, but I didn't. All I did was dig and dig and dig and dig and dig some more, but I'm still just a big, fat worm. So Otto wishes that he could have gotten wings too. No, you're not, said Bob. While you were digging, all I did was eat. While you were digging, all I did was sleep. While you were digging, all I did was fly around. But while you were digging, you loosened the soil so the roots could drink water, so the tree could grow tall, so the leaves would be green, so I could eat the leaves. So when 
Otto was going through the dirt like that, he was clearing way for the roots to get water. So it helped the tree grow and grow wings. I owe it all to you, Otto, said Bob. You're not just a worm, you're my best friend. And friends are important. All right, so we just read about Bob and Otto, the caterpillar and the worm. And so what I want you to do now is on your paper, take it and divide it into half like this. And on one side, I want you to write caterpillars. And then on the other side, I want you to write worms. And so I want you to draw a picture of a caterpillar and a worm. And I want you to write some things that you noticed and learned about worms and caterpillars from our story. So you might have learned something they eat, something that they do. All right, so anything you learned about caterpillars and worms, I want you to write them in your paper like this, okay? All right, thanks for joining me for our story, Bob and Otto, and I will see you guys again next time.